How long do you work? In Belgium, they have to respect the European Union's 48-hour average week and go home before they clock up too much time. In Belfast, you can carry on and on because the UK's got an opt-out at the moment. You don't get this in Westminster. These members of the European Parliament are celebrating winning the vote to get rid of all opt-outs. Britain's was negotiated by John Major 15 years ago. The government wants to keep it, but many Labour MEPs defied them. At the moment, under the existing directive, people could work as much as 78 hours a week, week in and week out. That is downright dangerous for their health. It's very damaging for the balance between their working and family life. That has to stop. In Belgium, it doesn't happen. The boss of this printing firm can work longer hours, but the long-standing EU law means his workers must stick to an average of 48 hours over three months, and they like it. For me, it's a good thing. What's the point of slogging away if you don't get time to enjoy life with your husband or boyfriend or children? And it's not just that. If we work overtime, it's not fair on people who are having trouble finding jobs. Share the work around. But at this garage in Belfast, no one seems to think there should be laws telling them how long they can or can't work. This apprentice says he needs to do overtime so he can afford to live the way he wants. Going out at the weekends, running a car, having friends, having a girlfriend. No, it all, it all takes up money. And with the recession biting ever deeper by the day, British business says now is not the time to go slow. For people who do choose to work longer hours, perhaps because their partner has lost their job and they want to bring in some extra money, uh, or perhaps you know they're working for a company that's fighting for survival and they want to go the extra mile, then we think they should be able to do that. A few miles from the European Parliament, this clock repairer doesn't find that he has time on his hands. Self-employed, he works 70 hours a week. Time hasn't quite run out for the British opt-out. Ministers from all the European Union countries and MEPs will try to negotiate a compromise. And they'll be putting in an awful lot of overtime before the clock finally stops.